Hey Facebook, this is a quick update. Um, I'm getting um, my 10.3 compression engine back together. Uh, I've got a brand new set of EQ202 CNC ported heads from Chris at Performance Injection Equipment. And uh, he did a wonderful job. Um, the only thing that I didn't tell Chris is that my block is zero decked. So therefore my manifold is now sitting back on the mill. Um, basically what I had to do is I had to uh, machine 30 thousandths, 30 th well, 35, 35, and 10 thousandths off my manifold to get my manifold to sit properly with the bolts to line back up and for my ports to line back up with the ports on the EQ heads that, that um, Chris had sent. Um, I, if I had told him, he could have machined the, uh, the head side of the, uh, <laughs> or the intake side of the heads and I wouldn't have uh, had to do all this. But anyway, I needed to get back into this manifold anyway because uh, I want to do a few more things. You know, I match the ports uh, better to the uh, EQ heads. But um, as everybody knows, I've got a, inside mine, this is a short eight inch runner inside of here. And um, if you remember this truck right here with factory stock Magnum heads, 192 with only a Mopar Performance 062 valve spring upgrade, that truck made 336 rear wheel and 403 torque. That was pretty good for a uh, Magnum head. So. Basically, what I've done is the floor was shortened inside of here, um, raised, I should say, an inch and a half. And uh, when you look in on the bottom, you can see there's a wedge, um, a sheet metal wedge, actually, that sits inside of this. And uh, it, gives, it gave me a whole lot of space underneath this plate right here, about an inch and a half worth of space. So here's my next trick. I have a water chilled I guess for better lack of terms, intercooler going in place here. And I'm going to plumb the lines up to the front through here, come up to the front, go over to a chill water reservoir system right there and be able to pack that full of ice and completely chill the lower floor of my manifold before I pass, before I run. And um, I think that's going to be pretty cool. I think if somebody um, wanted to spend enough time, they could actually plumb an evaporator system in here to their AC system. But I don't have AC on the truck. Um, good buddy gave me a V6 non-AC bracket, and that's what we've been running on Garrett's truck for quite some time. So, so anyway, when we go back to, uh, so if somebody wanted to, you know, plumb something in like this on a, into an AC system, it'll be pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, for me, I'm just going to plumb in chilled water, uh, pump this down to, you know, 30, 40 degree water. It's going to really chill the bottom of the pan as that air comes in there and hits the bottom of that pan and goes left and right and gets pulled for these cylinders. It's going to drop the temperature big time. So I'll be able to run a pretty, pretty nice spark advance um, in there to make some great power. So, but anyway, there you go. There's your update. Still working on the blower stuff over here. Uh, fuel rails are right now working on that. I got to redesign a throttle body for it. So, but everybody's already read the blog on that. So, anyway, just wanted to give a quick update of uh, my latest little trick up my sleeve here for this kegger. And uh, I really hope that this motor with the new heads um, sees 360 rear wheel all motor. Um, that'd be pretty impressive. Um, and I'd still like to stay over 400 torque. Um, I know my daughter's truck when I put the EQ hand ports on there for her truck on the UTP 450 she went from 250 rear wheel to 275 rear wheel it was a big gain and I, I really thank Chris over at PIE for doing a good job on it. so I'm really looking forward to <laughs> this manifold the new heads I've got some roller rockers going on his truck too we've got a sweet little converter going in place but I'm going to do my dyno first with the stock converter the same one that's been in there just so you can see these motor changes and then um, we're gonna switch a 2800 in place. And then Garrett's gonna have fun trying to get all that to stick to the ground. So anyway, as you guys know, Rams are heavy trucks, so it's just gonna blow the tires off. So, well, there you go. Uh, Kegger going to the uh, intercooled max right there. And uh, hope you guys enjoy this, and we'll talk to you soon and see you guys on the dyno. Later.